Okay, in this video, I'm going to finish off exercise 6C and another chapter yet again of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 165, and the question is 8. So this reads, an astrologist states that the position of Jupiter at a baby's birth is of significance. A skeptic claims that the gravitational attraction between Jupiter and the baby is less than that between the gynecologist at the end of the bed and the baby. Test this claim using the following approximations. The mass of Jupiter is 1.8 times 10 to the 27. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 6 times 10 to the 8. The mass of the gynecologist is 100 kilograms. And the distance between the gynecologist and the baby is 2 meters. So we need to work out two things. The force of the gynecologist on the baby and the force of the planet Jupiter on the baby. So let's apply Newton's law of gravitation. And we're going to get G times the mass of the gynecologist, which is 100, times the mass of the baby. And I'm just going to leave the mass of the baby at small m. Divide that by the radius squared, which is 2 squared. Then here we have G. The mass of the planet Jupiter is 1.8 times 10 to the 27. Times the mass of the baby. Divided by the distance between it squared. 6 times 10 to the 8 squared. And basically what, what the the skeptic is saying is that this, he's saying that, um, he's saying this, they're approximately equal. Or actually he didn't, he didn't, he actually said, he said this. He said that the force of the gynecologist on the baby is greater than that of the Jupiter on the baby. And let's look at the numbers here without even doing a bit of real maths. So let's just get rid of the common thing. So gravity, mass of the baby, gravity, mass of the baby. So essentially what he's saying is that 100 over 4 is greater than, um, let's, let's get rid of the numbers, just 10 to, the, 10, to the, 10 to the 27 divided by 6 times 10 to the, oh, it's, uh, let me think now, let's just square that all together, 3.6 times 10 to the 17. All right. So if you know your, your laws of powers, you're going to get 25 is greater than, let's we'll say this is 4, so let's we'll say it's approximately 2 times 10 to the 10. That's approximately that. Look, you can do the figures in your calculator if you want. All I did was take these two apart, take them one from the other, and approximately 4 into 10 goes approximately 2 times, we'll say. So look, that's definitely incorrect. 25 is, 25 being greater then 2 times 10 to the 10 is incorrect. And just to see how much bigger is 10 to the 10 in comparison to 25. So we'll say 25 is approximately, we'll say it's approximately 1, because it pretty much is. So this is 10 powers of 10 in the difference. Okay, so that is, it's nearly a million million, but it's, de it's, it's, well, 10 to the 9 is a billion, so it's 10 billion times bigger. It's nearly 10 billion times bigger. Alright, so the claim is absolutely false. Oh, that was 2 times 10 to the 10. Thanks for watching. Um, this chapter was reasonably interesting. Uh, pass it on to your friends, please, and subscribe to my channel.